Let me know if this sounds familiar to you. You wake up in the morning, you go to your side, you check your phone. Instantly you go on social media. You know you got work today, you know you got school today, you know you got things to attend to, but instead of getting off your ass, doing your morning routine, and then doing the responsibility, getting to work, getting to school, you scroll, and then you scroll more, and then you finally get off your bed, you go through whatever you have to go through, and then throughout the day, as you're on the bus, as you're on your car, in your car driving to work, you check your phone to see what someone else is up to. Going on social media, going on Facebook, going on Twitter, going on Instagram, checking YouTube videos, because you're productive, because you're listening to productivity podcasts. I can, I can, I can. I can, I can, I can. I can, I can. I do this too. The problem is, how far are you going to go with it? Every day, you consume something. You consume food, you consume water, and nowadays, you're consuming anything on your digital device. So whether that is video games, whether that is social media, or whether that is podcasts, movies, TV shows, Netflix, whatever it is. A lot of people try to tell me, well, I just think you need to find a balance. Those same people go to work and then in between work, doom scroll through their phone because, yeah, but it's because I have nothing better to do. That's the problem. Fundamentally, the problem is you have nothing better to do. Therefore, you use social media because you have nothing better to do. If you are a man, if you are a woman and you have something to do, you have something important that you wake up to and is way more important than any social media, then you wouldn't use it. You use it because you drown out the noise, you distract yourself. It is easier to go through social media than to sit with your thoughts. I am not sitting here and saying, I don't do that, therefore I'm better than you. I gain nothing from that. What I'm trying to say is that you can drastically improve your life if you limit the time you spend on social media and on your devices in general. And I'm going to get into the next topic, which is comparison. The reason why social media is ruining your brain and it's genuinely causing mental health issues, in my opinion, is because you're constantly comparing yourself. And if you tell yourself, no, I don't, you don't know it. Because this is what you do. You wake up, just get on your phone. First thing you, you scroll through, a post. Someone's living their life and you decided to post about it and you're there watching it. You scroll through their stories, where were they last night? Maybe these thoughts don't come to your head. Maybe you don't care. In the moment, you're like, oh, I don't, I don't care. I'm emotionless on social media. This is what I used to think sometimes. Subconsciously, your mind compares. Subconsciously, your mind is going, oh, this person's living their life. How's my life different than theirs? How's my life worse? How's my life better? So maybe you're not someone who gets envious or jealous on social media. But I guarantee you that you are comparing yourself. Because this is fundamentally what so social media is. And it's very unhealthy because... Well, Marcus Aurelius, for example, said, comparison is the killer of joy. I believe in this 100%. I also believe that if you compare yourself to who someone else is today, you will never get better tomorrow because you are focusing on someone else's path when your path is completely different. You grew up with different cards. You were dealt different cards. You grew up with a different childhood, different parents, different genetics as a whole. So whenever you compare yourself to someone's physique, whenever you compare yourself to someone's lifestyle, whenever you compare yourself to even how someone speaks or how someone talks about others, about themselves, whatever it is, whenever you compare yourself, you are robbing yourself. I truly believe this because I have went through this. I am a person who has went through Comparison, constant comparison in my mind of how is this person different than me? 
how could I beat him? How could I be better? How is he better? How, how did he get this? How did he get that? How, whatever it is, right? And you find yourself thinking this, even if it's just for a few minutes. And then you find yourself being like, why do I even care? And then you reach a level where you don't even know why you're on social media sometimes. It's because you're, you have nothing better to do on the bus. So if you have nothing better to do, might as well feed your subconscious mind comparison so that it feels worse throughout the day. I recommend putting a screen time limits on your Instagram. For most of you, this will not work because most of you have no willpower. And the minute that Instagram timer comes up, you will click five more minutes and then you will click ignore for the day. Check on Apple and if, go on the settings. I'm sure Samsung has this too. And limit the time you can go on an app, whether that's Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. Limit that time and it will ask you time limit up and it will give you choices. Every time you see that choice and you give it another five, 10 minutes the whole day, tell, tell yourself that I am not strong enough, that my will is not strong enough to get off this social media app. And you will be faced with a constant reminder of your past self wanting you to improve, but your present self being too weak to get off social media. I believe that, again, going into the whole comparison aspect of it, this is the worst part of social media, or at least one of the worst parts of social media, because we shouldn't know what other people are up to at every moment. And social media fundamentally is sharing. So we share our moments, we share our experiences, we share pictures of each other, but do you ever realize that these physiques that you compare yourself to, maybe they're on steroids, maybe they're on performance enhancing drugs, maybe they photoshopped their images or took hundreds of them and only posted one in order to look their best. Realize that all social media or most people posting on all social media is a highlight reel. See, my YouTube channel tries to be raw, unedited, not anything too fancy. This might change in the future, but for now, I want it to be the raw documentation of my thoughts, of my lessons learned, of my documentation throughout my life at a young age. And I hope it can help someone else. And I hope it can help someone else through inspiration and through showing what I went through. So hopefully the person on the other side can have an easier time going through what they're going through, whether it's a similar path or a different one. Yet I understand that some of you might compare yourself to me. And I said this in the past to people in real life, and I will continue to say it for as long as I can. Do not compare yourself to me to who I am today, but compare yourself to who you were yesterday. Compare yourself to who you could be tomorrow. Those are the two people you should compare yourself to, who you were yesterday and who you could be tomorrow. That's it. Because everyone else is a representation of their life, of their actions, of the things that they went through, of the things their childhood was, of the things their parents went through and the people around them are doing. And it can be faked. This is the problem with social media. A lot of it is faked. Photoshop, lighting, multiple pictures taken, performance enhancing dr drugs, plastic surgery, all of these things and you don't even realize it. And if you do, then why do you keep watching? You know she has plastic surgery, yet you still keep scrolling through her Instagram. You know he doesn't make as much money as you think he does, yet you still keep scrolling through his Instagram. Now, on the other side of comparison, you can be someone who goes on social media, compares yourself to someone who is better than you in some sort of way, fighting, physique, um, money, right? You go on the social media and you compare and you come out of it with a positive thinking mindset. You come out of it inspired. Bro, this guy's making more money than me. 
That's awesome. I'm going to try to make more money. This guy has an amazing physique. I need to work harder today at the gym. Whatever it is, positivity can come out of it. But I guarantee you that 80 to 90% of the time, it's not positive. Because how long can you keep that up for? Because it's, okay, one guy, and then another, and then another, and then another, and another account, and another account, and another account. And it's this collapsation of all of these guys, all of these accounts, all of these women that you compare yourself to, to, and you don't even improve. You're just stuck there scrolling. The point is you scroll, you see someone else's life, you get inspired, and then you get off. The point is working. And I get it if some of you need some sort of motivation or like the motivation, like the inspiration off of some of your favorite influencers. But there is a limit to this. And you should definitely limit who you watch, when you watch it, and how long you watch it for. I recommend, again, putting a screen time on, on, on your phone or, honestly, quitting social media as a whole. And instantly your mind is going to go to things you are attached to. So it's going to go, no, but I have to message this person. Oh, but I have to watch this account. And then slowly, after a whole list of things, it will be, I kind of do care what that person is up to. I don't want to miss out. And these are fundamentally the things that social media is built on. Corporations and companies have built these things to keep you hooked, to feed you whatever you want to see to get you addicted for not months, but years on their platform so they can profit off of your attention. Now, this is coming from someone who is on social media. I have an Instagram, I have a Twitter, I have a YouTube, I post frequently. The difference is I am a creator on these social media websites. I am someone who, when I consume, I try to keep it as limited as possible. And when I do consume, it is purely things that are mostly educational or inspirational. I follow people that I have been watching for years that I actually get a positive mindset loop after seeing their Instagram post, YouTube video, whatever, or something educational, something I learn, something that I implement into my life. So for example, one of my favorite YouTubers, Alex Formosi. I would love to quit social media, but I'd still like to watch some of Alex Hormozzi's YouTube videos because they have genuinely benefited my life. You need to limit your time. There are um, ad extensions on YouTube that you can get on your desktop that remove all the thumbnails, only puts the title or removes everything from the homepage. Search it up, try to get it. Your mission after watching this, and if you've made it this long, congrats, is to limit your screen time, limit your watch time, limit your YouTube, limit your Instagram. And if that means unsubscribing to me, if that means not watching me as much, I don't care. Because your mental health should be more important. I hope that I'm one of the people that you look at and actually get inspired from or get some sort of education. But if I'm not, that's okay. The point is, do not sacrifice your mental health. Do not sacrifice comparison for Instagram, for social media. And if you're going to be on these apps, the best thing you can do is be a creator. Now, some of you are not that. And some of you are just consumers. But realize that you need to limit that as much as you can, because we all consume something and we all create something. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really wanted to get this point across because recently I've just found myself comparing, um, you know, mainly the time. You know, I'm very young, but there are people out there who are younger than me that are more successful in certain realms. There are people who are older than me and they are less successful. And when I come to a conclusion, I always try to tell myself there is always people that I wish to be and I wish to be like. And then there are people that wish that were like me. There are people that would sacrifice everything to be in the position that I am in. So who am I to go ahead and think, I wish I was like this guy. The best thing you can do is be grateful for what you have, be grateful for who you are, and do not compare yourself unless 
it comes with something positive, unless it comes with positive change and growth. Again, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was valuable. Go down in the comments, share your thoughts, share anything, send me a message if you want any advice. I am always open. Um, and yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And as always, more content to come. Again, again. Again, again.